Hello, everyone. Today, I would like to talk to you about sustainable transportation. This lecture today is a part of a MOOC with the title, The Precautionary Principle and Sustainability Transition. It is some references for you to read to understand more about the topic. And this is content of my talk today, including five parts. Uh, from the concept of certain, certain of, certain of, certain of transportation to the, some case study in the tran transport project. Before talking about the certain transportation, we need to know a bigger concept that is a certain development. So what is the certain development? Certain development is a development that need meet the need of the present without compromising the ability of future generation to meet their own need. And certain certain of development based on three pillars, including society, economy, and environment. As a part of certain of development, certain transportation is the capacity to support the mobility needs of a society in a manner that is less damaged to the environment and does not impair the mobility need of the future generation. They have different kind of factors, including mode, infrastructure, and operation, and also like a certain development, certain transportation also based on three pillars, economic, social, and environment. This figure showed the diff different kind of key factor in terms of economic, social, and environmental aspect. For the economic uh, aspect, they have the Key factors include cost, speed, capacity, flexibility, and reliability. For certain aspect, they have access, minimum accident, and also, also minimum congestion. For environmental aspect, they have key factors as follow: energy intensity emission and also pollution. It means that certain, certain transportation system is the system that combines advantage of each mode of transport to achieve the balanced integration of economic, social, and environmental benefit. This table show the key factor for different kinds of Traffic means including plane, ship, locomotive, and truck. For different, for different fact, factors, include cost, per ton mile, capacity, speed, reliability, and flexibility. And from the table, you can see that different kind of traffic means has different degree of key factor. For example, for example, for the ship, they have lowered cost, uh, uh, but they have high capacity and their speed is low and re their reliability is limited and also their flexibility is also low. They did the uh, key, key factor uh, for thousand aspect of different kind of, uh, of traffic means. Uh, so as you mentioned, same with the uh, uh, economic aspect. For thousand aspect, different kind of uh, traffic traffic means has to be different advantage and different disadvantage. And this is a key factor for the 
same kind of traffic means with the, uh, some parameter such as energy in intensity, emission of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere and air pollution. And also you can see from the table that different kind of traffic mean have different have a, have a different advantage and have a, and disadvantage in terms of environment and aspect. And uh, one of the main part in transport in general is the uh, transport urban transport because in, in a city they have very high population density therefore they have very high demand of traveling and this figure uh, show the comparison of different kind of traffic mode based on the passenger kilometer of travel for a ton of carbon dioxide emitted to the atmosphere. The, dip, the different uh, the traffic mode include pedestrian, bicycle, it is a different kind of bar using the noise. This one is by art, articulated, by articulated, it's articulated, and it is a two X bus, and this is the metro rain, the passenger car using the SNI, it is scooter with four truck, and this is also passenger car but using pet petrol, and this scooter with two stop. So you can from the figure we can see that based on passenger kilometers of travel per ton one ton of so carbon dioxide, uh, uh, carbon dioxide emitted to the atmosphere. The scooter with two stroke has a high emission of carbon dioxide. And the figure also make a comparison about space requirement for different transport mode based on can calculate the as people per hour on 3.5 mid oil plane in the city. The transport mode includes mid traffic, regular bar, cyclist, pedestrians, BRT with single lane, light rain, BRT with double lane, heavy rain and suburban rain. So from the figure we can see that uh, based on based on the people per hour on three point five lane, the mixed train, a mixed traffic mode has high speed requirement. Now we come to the second part. Uh, The approach in development of a certain sustainable transportation system. In order to do so, in order to do so, our long-term vision is is that we try to develop an inter international integrated into modern transport and logistic logistic system. It means that uh, it it the it did the system that has an intermodern network of van design, maintenance, inter, in, in connected highway, railway, inland waterway, seaport, river port, airport, or dry port that through modern ship can optimize the need of transporting goods and passengers, minimize the consumption of energy, land and other resources and generate, generate low emission of air pollutant, greenhouse gases and ozone deep, depleting substances. And of course, minimize the adverse social impact arising from transport active operation. And in order to do, uh, to meet uh, 
that purpose, our strategy in efficiency in transport process has followed. Try to improve the system operation. That means application of ICS. Uh, it means uh, application of intelligent trans transportation system, integration of transport mode, demand management, for example, track the working hour, and besides using technical and regular uh, institutional tools, we try to increase the use of economic instrument. For example, using tax, subsidy, pricing, etc. And regulatory standard need to be developed and used for vehicle fuel and maintenance. And of course, new technology should be Develop and apply for engine, for vehicle, for fuel, and for material, etc. Uh, talking about technology, we should uh, apply for engine, for example, technology for emission control, technology for direct injection of fuel to a burning chamber. Uh, technology for vehicle includes increase safety, in, increase the fuel efficiency, for fuel, uh, higher emission standard for fuel to be used, uh, for example, standard uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. ICT and ITF, ICT mean Information and communication technology and IT admin intelligent uh, transportation system should be applied. For example, coordinated traffic signal, transit operation, management of tone road, straightway. And of course, uh, infrastructure should be improved. For example, pavement, uh, material, etc. Now we come to third part, planning a certain transport system. Normally when we plan a certain transport system, we are normally facing with different kind of barrier. The following, I will talk something about some potential barrier. The first one, institutional barrier, for example, planning and policy formulation sometimes not inclusive, not signal critic. And law, regulation, and rules also sometimes not only supported. Also, we have a problem with coordination. For example, coordinate action by different agency. Sometimes we are facing with difficult in even inter-agency coordination. And social and cultural barrier, we encourage and support the people to do the tra public traffic mean, but some people may, say, may think that car represents their social status. And also the last one is in this part is a limited resources, including human resources. For policy and structure barrier, we know that policy biases are common. For example, favoring road sector in resort location, but ignoring certain, certain development measures. Needs of marginal and other group sometimes maybe ignore policy distortion for example energy pricing we are subsidy in some country in consistent contradiction victory policy across the sector and sector and market 
structure in transport, for example, fragmented freight sector in most developing countries, therefore, they cause very difficulty in the improving efficiency. And regulatory institution and performance standard may be either lacking or weak, especially in developing country. So in order to overcome it's the, the barrier that mentioned earlier, our strategy are as follow. Include, try to include certain transportation in national development framework, formulation of an agree national policy framework on certain sustainable transportation in national level and also in the city level. Development of a framework of indicator and benchmark for planning, for monitoring the process in sustainable transportation development. Institutionalization of integrated planning, policy formulation, and coordination of action. Create uh, a support environment, for example, increase the activity of uh, uh, study and research so that they, we can find scientific basis for decision maker. And also in, increase the social and the coordinate uh, and education to support the certain transportation. Did it, uh, now I come to the, uh, the uh, uh, four part strategy in integrated air quality management for road vehicle. In order to do so, we have to uh, control to to two aspect low the first one using vehicle with low emission and also the important very important part is that the transport management for transport management we try to integrate planning uh, transport planning in into the urban planning uh, also try to improve infrastructure uh, focusing not only road, but also some uh, uh, car parking or uh, uh, for example, and also for transport we try to uh, increase the kind of transport mean right, beside the traditional like a taxi, uh, the traditional public um, uh, vehicle like a Taxi like a regular bus, try to use and uh, uh, apply the new one like a BRT, like a metro, for example. And on the the main thing in this part, like that, they try to change behavior uh, with the people, uh, so that we can uh, encourage and support the people using public transport in, instead of using private means, and also have a good policy for management of that hour. For the uh, use of low vehicle emission, we, for, we all focus in engine, try to modify the internal combustion engine so that we can minimize the, the air emission. Also change to uh, cleaner, engine like an electric engine. For fuel, try to switch to the cleaner fuel like a CNG and the PG and battery or fuel cell. Uh, for exhaust gas control, we, uh, the catalytic converter should be uh, equipped and used. Also try to use Particulate matter trap, and for the big car using this, then we also can use a high exhaust, high exhaust. Uh, 
in order to to, to uh, uh, get uh, this thing integrated uh, to develop a certain transportation good which should use market based instrument and law and regulation it means that use of economic tool and also with the institutional tool now we are talk uh, something about co benefit in transport project uh, the term of co benefit appear in the early 1990 and generated wide interest when the third assessment report of IPCC was published in 2001. Co-benefit approach quantify the benefit relating the economic, social, and environmental, including air quality and climate change aspect of a project or of a development policy. So, it means that co-benefit in traffic in transport project is a part of co-benefit in general. And this figure so some benefit can that can be obtained in uh, a transport project. This act is the degree of me measurement. Uh, this is a different kind of benefit. This benefit can be uh, uh, classify into group direct benefit but, and indirect benefit. Direct benefit is a benefit that is easy to see, but direct indirect benefit is a benefit that is not easy to see. For example, for direct benefit, we can have different uh, different kind of benefit, including increase productivity through site saving, reduce emissions. Em Greenhouse gases, reduce air emission, reduce noise level, time, and so on. For the indirect benefit, we can have significant benefit, including reduce hand cut due to air pollution, <coughs> uh, reduce other pollution, for example, soil, soil pollution, water contamination, and wet, for example. So, co benefit in, tra in transport project is a very important point that should be considered when uh, development of certain transportation system. Now, we are, I would like to show, uh, provide you some case study related to uh, um, transport project in uh, Vietnam. The first one, BRT in Hanoi. Uh, at the end of night, two, 2016, uh, Hanoi has put in new uh, one lane BRT. This is the first one in uh, Hanoi and, and also in one, uh, the first one in the Vietnam. Uh, so in this in our in this study we try to uh, give, uh, 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 characterize emission uh, and also estimate carbonate from BRT in Hanoi and uh, this blue line is the driving cycle developed for BRT in Hanoi and this is some characteristic uh, of this driving cycle with root length, BRT fleet, every speed, and total carbon dioxide equivalent is emitted. And uh, uh, this is a uh, uh, emission factor of BRT in and for different kind of air pollutant include NOx, PM10, carbon monoxide, black carbon, volatile organic compound, and organic carbon and based on this emission factor we have uh, estimated the potential benefit if the regular bath in Hanoi running with the same driving cycle and the BRT in Hanoi and we obtained the design for example for 
air quality benefit, we can see that about 17 to 23 air pollution, air pollution emission can be reduced or the benefit of climate change, we see that about 22% of greenhouse gas calculated annual carbon dioxide equivalent can be reduced. And for the benefit of health, we see that at least 3.8 rich Henry can be reduced. And this is the, another case study in Vietnam uh, applied uh, uh, apply for bath, regular bath in Hanoi. And in this study, we uh, uh, try to modeling the emission of uh, bath in different scenario. The, the first scenario, uh, the, including switching from diesel oil that currently used to the clean of fuel like a CNC and the PG. And also the third scenario is the, that is tightening the emission, emission standard to zero four. Actually, at present, the, the regular bar in Hanoi made the emission standard of zero four already, but at the time we conducted our study, they didn't. And you can see that with the uh, changing thing to clean of fuel, uh, to CNC and LPG, a significant uh, benefit for air quality can be obtained as this col the column or authority column. And also for tightening emission standard to Euro 4, also a significant benefit can be obtained. Uh, with some exception and Figure that highlight by yellow color, and also we are also is estimated uh, benefit of climate change calculated annual carbon dioxide equivalent. So we can see that switching to fuel uh, to cleaner fuel or tightening emission standard can uh, bring significant benefit for regular bath in Hanoi. And also, besides, uh, besides the co-benefit, uh, besides the benefit of air quality, benefit of climate change, benefit of health also obtained for switching from the diesel oil to cleaner fuel, including CNG and the PG and also tightening the uh, image standard for regular bath in Hanoi. You can see that it uh, some uh, kind of disease can be reduced by 20, 21%, 8%, and also 44% and 40, 45%, etc. So that is the end of my talk today. Thank you very much for your attention.